When I tell you that I do not feel bad for any thing that is happening to this girl, especially after the new developments that are coming out today about what she was saying during filming in the reunion. Oh, baby, she deserved every last thing that she got at that reunion and that she's getting now. And she'll be lucky if somebody doesn't go and press charges on her. Let's talk about it. I know y'all want to get to the tea, and baby, we will. But for those of y'all that's been living under a rock, baby, my name is Scott Santana. I've only been on YouTube since I was 2016. Started off going viral, telling stories about my crazy life. A couple of years later, I started doing ratchet recipes, went viral on TikTok. Then I opened up a channel, a lot of souls, where I was, you know, using my spiritual and psychic gifts to help the girls and whip them back into alignment. In other words, baby, she's gifted. And see, now I'm here to share all of those gifts on one channel. Beside me, whether it's a deep dive, a commentary video, cooking music, Reading Harvest Souls. Baby, if I want to upload a video of me picking my nose and breathing for 60 minutes, I'm into it. My house, my rules. I mean, I just ask that y'all follow me over on Twitter so I can stop talking to myself. And before you go and try to seek help and seek therapy, baby, seek me. Go to my website and book yourself a personal reading if you need one. Now, feel free to sound off in the comments, but be respectful and act like you got that act right. Now, this channel is for critical thinkers. We may not always agree. You may not always even like me. But one thing's for sure, your life will be changed after experiencing me. So subscribe. Now, enough of me rambling, child. I think we made it past the part that was needed to get this video monitored. Let's get into it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. Child, what's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Ch 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 Chi Chi, and we are back for another Baddies East update. It's a lot that we got to get into, y'all. It's a lot. 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 So I'm not even going to hold y'all too long with this intro. Go ahead and like this video. Whatever you want, babe. Whatever you need, babe. Just so I don't Gotta show me the money. Okay, so apparently E.T. and Rowley has fallen out, but it's also so much surrounding that because E.T. has leaked everybody's numbers from Rowley to, I think, Sasiki to T Chat. We're we going to get into all of that, but including Lamel's personal information. Yes, Lemon Pepper, Chow. And now she is banned from the network. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. But honestly, do I feel bad for Zeus? I don't. Because Zeus is honestly just like a step above now that CV, but it's one and the same. Y'all hold these auditions for these girls to go down there and fight. And y'all literally tell them to fight. So it's already given ba bottom of the barrel. And Zeus, I call it out every single episode, every single video that I do, how unprofessional it is. So when things start happening that's unprofessional and unethical and goes against morals and hell, legalities, I don't really too much give a damn, nor do I feel bad for anybody involved because, again, this is Zeus. Y'all would not be going through the shit if it was Viacom, but y'all go through it with Zeus because Zeus promised to give y'all a bag. So it is what it is. So we just going to be laughing for shits and giggles. But honestly and truthfully, I really don't give a damn. OK, but let's go ahead. I don't really know where this all I mean, well, technically all of this started at the reunion. I just uploaded a reunion part two review. So go watch that if you haven't. It's literally premiering right now as I'm recording this. And on the reunion, we saw 
EBT, aka Scarred Face, we saw her and Roly begin to fall out, right? And the reason why her and Roly began to fall out is because EBT had ran up on Natalie out of nowhere. Now, I made it a point to say within a reunion that Natalie's energy was off. I, in my heart of hearts, believes that I believe that Natalie came to reu- to the reunion just expecting to be chill because she ain't really have issues with nobody. And right before she got on stage, I feel like somebody had leaked it to her. And it was probably a producer because if it wasn't, she would have called out one of the girls for doing it. But I feel like it was probably a producer or Lemon Pepper or somebody who heard that E.T. was going to attack Natalie. And then that's why she was uncomfortable because she wasn't sure how it was going to happen, when it was going to happen. And... Even if she didn't know that E.T. was going to attack her, I do believe that somebody had tipped her off right as soon as she got on stage, letting her know one of these girls is coming for you. Because her energy was just off, and it does not make sense why. But E.T. came out, attacked Natalie, and if you saw the reunion part two, we all watched how Roly made it a point to defend Natalie and basically go against E.T. And she tried to get to the bottom of it and figure out what was really going on and what was said, because E.T. claims that somebody... AKA a messy fag and it came to her and you know involved himself in a mess and talked about well we'll we'll get we'll get to all of that the details and the tea and all of that but basically he came to her and told her that Natalie was coming for her and set her up so ET came out with a vengeance Roly protecting her back she called herself trying to protect Natalie and goes against ET and ever since then <sighs> Ever since then, and ever since E.T. got her ass whooped on that reunion, it's just been live after live, interview after interview, podcast after podcast, and just so much has been going on. So this is going to be all over the place, but we're going to try our best to get to the bottom of what's going on. So let's take it back to this Instagram live that E.T. did a couple of days ago. Yeah. I just feel like it's very ironic that Should I call her name or should I be disrespectful? Because I feel very disrespected. <laughs> it don't matter. Her whole storyline was about crying because I got jumped to turn around and jump somebody at a reunion. Ain't that ironic? Your storyline about getting jumped and then you turn around and jump somebody. You didn't like the feeling but you don't mind making somebody else feel that way. Ain't that how you said the kettle calling the black, black calling the kettle? The kettle calling the pot black. The kettle calling the pot black. Okay. I still never got that thing right. My grandpa used to always tell me that. I could take my ass getting uh one on one treatments. I could take that. But to find out that Camilla kicked me in my I'm like, I thought it was just Biggie that kicked me in my head. But it was Camilla kicking me in my head. I don't know what Titus Scott was doing. Then I was right when I pulled up on motherfucking Mariah ass. And I wanted to motherfucking, I told her I want my one-on-one because you tried to jump on me, bitch. The bitch told me, I never tried to jump you. Bitch, I see you over here trying to swing. Our security trying to break up shit, bitch. That's called jumping, bitch. Fucking stupid house. Y'all know what I hate. What are you to Every time it's supposed to be like a viral fight for me, they play with the angles and never in my favor. I could take my ass getting uh one on and then it's these I, I can't wait for Sapphire Park to come up because this bitch was just on live with me talking about wasn't Mariah this wasn't Mariah that da, da, da. I said, oh, yeah, I that no before the reunion mm-hmm. before all that shit like we talked bitches is fake bitch Bitch said, if I run up on... I don't give a fuck. No, she she, she texts on on social media. She said, if you run up on... uh, If you're trying to fight Sapphire, I mean, uh, Suki, and and they tried to say I'm wearing a bob, like, a fan said this shit. A fan said I was going to break bones, I was going to wear a bob, and I was going to fight Suki, right? Mm -hmm. 
I didn't even try to fight Suki at the reunion, and she still tried to fight me. Like, bitch, I just got jumped. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm worried about people who already attacked me. I'm like, let me catch my breath. I'm about to sit here. Let these bitches talk, and I need that again. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, they all was plotting. I don't give a fuck. They definitely was plotting. And I ain't tripping. My God is good. Child, I don't know what God she praying, so it must be a demon. Just because people say I'm praying to God don't mean that they they all talking about the same person. <laughs> Check it. Clock it. They told us to sit down. They said, when y'all walk out, you sit right here, you sit right here. So as we walk out, everybody already standing up. Everybody already standing up. And I knew this bitch of Tiki had asked for more time. So security wasn't going to come on stage immediately. See, I'm smarter than people think. So I'm like, oh, you ready? They're going to give you your time. So that means it's going to take them a minute to get on this motherfucking stage. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, know where I'm going. What the fuck are you talking about? Get to the race, baby. I ain't on nobody's time but my own. But people thought they was. And everybody keeps talking about Tzatziki, Tzatziki. I'm like, to me, she wasn't my main goal. She was just one of many. She may be that bitch to y'all, but to me, it's like. But she was so important <laughs> to everybody. That's what it was. You were everyone's main goal. You were the star. You were the new you. They don't want to Without give Without you, it wasn't no show. I know. I mean, smile, smiling them. Had a whole scene about me before the reunion even started. Yeah. I was very honored. <laughs> that was fucked up, though. It's giving delusional. <laughs> Your mama. You was a track star that night, boy. That, that girl on here, you know. Child, and whoever this girl is that's in the background is sitting there trying to hype her head up. And here's the thing. I don't know when it started, but it used to be certain things that certain people would say, like you would hear a reviewer say it or maybe like a celebrity say it. And y'all just took it and ran with it. It's like every time there's a reality show, y'all want to talk about storyline, who has one, who doesn't, who's the star, da 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 da, da. And then y'all just drag that shit out. And it's kind of the same to when like y'all over-exaggerate and let's say a girl drops a song and it's a mid ass song, but like, because you're a fan of hers. Oh my God. Yes. Queen, you slave. And da, da, da. and it's just like, y'all be over exaggerating shit. Star where there was, there's nothing star about that. There's nothing star about ET at all. And to say that if ET wasn't there, there wouldn't have been a show, baby. This still would have been a show just like without Chris Sean, there's still a show. They would have made a show as fucking Zeus. They will punch security. If that means getting good footage, like, they would have made a show. They would have made a show, child. So anyways, the delusions. So we keep going. And Tzatziki had tweeted out on February 12th, I beat EBT food stamp snap the fuck up all rounds. And it wasn't for Kashawn. By the time that was put on my hit list, it was because she wanted to be a star and met the qualifications to get beat the fuck up. Plus, boss man paid me a bag to show up to work and I to, to, I the fuck did. <sighs> okay. To, to see he got paid to work and child, them hands clocked in. So I already did two videos on this. We ain't oh, got to stay I, here. Is that why she made the comment? So, yeah. check on so, I, she, so I was confused. Like, if I knew we had beef, I would have been ready. You could, bitch, if you got a problem with me, so what did she have? just say, hey, bitch, what's up? Stand up type right. shit. Like, if you want to square up with me, I'm like, I don't even think she was running at me. I like that's why I, you do see. My, I had a quick reflex, so my leg was up fast in a hurry because the bitch just took off and I had no idea what was going on. And so, and when I say bitch, I'm just saying bitch like 
I don't, I don't care enough to like call her a bitch. Yeah, saying bitch. Right? right. So, and I'm not, I'm still not, I'm not mad at ET. It just make it make sense. If you got a problem with me, she could have, she could have called me on the phone after the show and said, "Hey, now you know, I'm dealing with a lot, a lot's going on. Mm -hmm. The show, the fans, the it's a lot. <clears throat> Can you call and check on me every now and then and make sure I'm good?" Bitch, I'll shoot her a text or whatever. I just, once the show's over, we all go about whatever we're doing in life. Like, we have a lot. So it was just a lot of miscommunication. I guess. And and I, Nat, Natalie being too nice. And honestly, that's what it is. Like I said, we don't have to stay on that specific topic too long because I feel like I'm tired of talking about that. I did I did two videos on that. And I also just talked about that during the reunion. Because EBT is doing two things, right? Inside of this live right here, she says, oh, I only attacked Natalie because I knew that Tzatziki wanted to fight and Zeus and the bosses and the security was going to give Tzatziki her time. So, like, what I look like fighting this bitch, knowing that security not going to run up and stop it. So, in other words, she was playing scary. She called herself trying to be cute and creative by acting like she was strategic. Like, oh, no, I went after Natalie first because I know if Natalie, if I go after Natalie, security going to have to come on stage to protect their investment. Therefore, when I get time, you know, when I get ready to fight Tzatziki, I can fight her and be secure and knowing that security is already on stage and it's not going to go too far. She's lying on her fucking teeth because even Natalie is like, girl. You sit here mad at the fact that I didn't call you. I didn't check on you. I'm not your friend like that. And like I've said in the last video, if you didn't watch that, I'll say it again. EBT, Roly, and Biggie don't fit the baddies aesthetic. Y'all can feel whatever way you want to feel about it. Stop projecting. At the end of the day, when it comes to the word baddie, there is a certain aesthetic that comes with that. You can sit and try to be all realistic and cute and creative and be like, okay, well, just because I'm in a wheelchair, does that make me not a baddie? Just because I'm, you know, handicapped, does that mean I'm not a baddie? Just because, you know, I have this behavioral problem, does that make me not a baddie? Just because I'm missing one eye or just because I wear glasses, does that make me not a bad? Listen, y'all trying to add more rules and ethics and all of that real life shit to an unprofessional ass show that literally the premise is fighting. The premise is fight. And when it comes to bad bitch, when it comes to baddie, baddie stands for bad bitch. And when it comes to bad bitch, there is an aesthetic. You look like a stripper hoe. You fight. You shop at Fashion Nova. You wear she in. You wear the labels. You probably boost. You probably scam. You fuck on the track, niggas. Like, come on now. Let's not sit and act like we don't sit and watch the the auditions and who it is that they cho choose or a lot of pass through to the next round. It's a certain aesthetic that, that they're going for. And Roly does not fit that aesthetic. Roly was grandfathered into baddies. Y'all wonder why Roly is always attacking the pretty girls. It's because they get to fuck for a check, whether they're fucking Lemmy for a check or just Roly just assumes that because they're pretty, they're fucking their way through life. Roly has internal shit going on okay a lot of body dysmorphia hence why she keeps getting these surgeries and her body's not changing okay i don't care how many fucking fahas and waist trainers that she wears her body is not changing okay the ass is getting bigger but the body's not changing at all okay and it's damn sure not helping the smell according to the girls who keep on saying that baby with every surgery there's a new smell added on to you what's going on What's going on? I would invest in some good soap and a trainer before I, <laughs> before I go down to Dr. Miami. Okay, you had goals when really your goal should be getting a new body without the surgeon. But that's a conversation for another day. Regardless, Roly feels like she is inferior to the pretty girls because they get to come into situations and based off of their prettiness, she feels like they get it easier. They get a handout, whereas Roly has to clock in. And Biggie... Biggie is just Biggie. She's sloppy. She's messy. Her voice is deep as fuck. So she probably has a lot of issues when it comes to dating men and, and relationships. She already has everybody questioning whether or not she's trans. Like it's a like y'all y'all gotta use your head. Natalie is about her back. She's about her back. And that's the only reason why Roly was able to just stomach the fact that. Natalie did not want her around because of aesthetics, because at the end of the day on a reunion, that's what the conversation was about was aesthetics. OK, that's what Biggie was sitting there arguing back and forth for Natalie over because she couldn't understand why Natalie wasn't her friend and inviting her around and decided to bring E.T. around and not her. E.T. is upset because she's not around. Roly's just like I never Roly claims she never got upset, but it bothered her. And we can tell that it bothers her when she literally, again, fights these pretty girls for no reason. But at some point, Roly accepted it and waited for her turn to come around. 
because Roly already knows it's an aesthetic thing and it has nothing to do with being big. It has everything to do with being sloppy, broke, and you just don't fit the image. When it comes to EBT, she's broke and she <laughs> was literally getting hand-me-down clothes and hand-me-down wigs. And all of that is spawned in real life. But this is a show where, baby, you're already supposed to have that. This is not building a baddie. This is not build a baddie workshop. This is not build a bad bitch. This is baddies where you're supposed to come and you're already supposed to be at that level. And again, because EBT was hired to do a job and that was it, like hired for a specific task, which was to come in and attack Krishan and attack Tzatziki, she's disposable to the company. <laughs> she's disposable. She was So she was never looked at as a prize jewel or somebody worth protecting or like they never gave a damn about her. And that much was obvious. But E.T. was so thirsty for the fame and so thirsty for camera time and thirsty, I guess, for her life to change that she went along with it all. But now she wants to cry later on when she doesn't get the results that she expected to get. Baby, you knew that they were setting you up, but you didn't have a problem with it because you expected a different outcome. And now that that outcome isn't what you expected. And now you feel like, oh, they don't pull the wool over your eyes or the rug from underneath your feet. Now you want to sit and cry, what was me? No, baby, you knew what to expect. You knew what to expect. Okay. And like I said, Biggie, she's sloppy. She's sloppy. She's messy. Her voice is deep. She does not fit the aesthetic of a baddie. And her voice is very annoying. Y'all go up for her now because she was the underdog this season, but she has not changed from last season. She is a little fucking chihuahua that's sitting there trying to play pit bull, trying to play top dog, top bitch, when literally she is still a student of the goddamn game. Absolutely not. And it has nothing to do with their weight. I'm going to keep saying that. Because there are big bitches who can dress and who look good, i.e. Tokyo Vanity, i.e. Tanisha from Bad Girls Club, who, who Natalie started baddies with. It's just that EBT, Roly, and Biggie do not fit the aesthetic. And E.T. decided to take that personally, attack Natalie. Roly felt like, this is my bag. Because now Roly is in a place where she done already fought Natalie. And I do have this theory that Roly feels like, okay... In order for me to be cool with you, I don't like the fact that you get, you have an easier time getting things than I do because of my weight or whatever insecurity she has. So I feel like Roly feels like I can only be cool with you after I fight you because that's the way that she justifies it in her head. So now that she already done fought Roly, I mean, now that Roly already done fought Natalie, she has it in her head like, okay, I see Natalie for her works. She's just a producer. She's just here to do a job. Da -da 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 -da. Now I can actually put all that aside and be cool with her. I understand it's just a job. EBT is not able to do that. And now EBT wants to cry victim. So that's how we get to this point now where EBT is doing all of these interviews and it's just, it, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I don't even know where to begin. So I'm going to take it on over to YouTube. Recording just got better. Um, Shout out to this page right here. Peep and T on YouTube. They did a video. So we just gonna follow along. So the second part of the said. reunion came out today. I'm guessing ET did not like this shit, right? So she's in a group chat on Instagram leaking numbers, right? I'm gonna tell you which one she leaked, okay? Look, we see. I don't. I, I guess she got triggered or something. I don't know what's happening, bro. She leaked Rolly number. She leaked Natalie number, Anna, and Scotty. This is so damn child, bro. This is so childish. First of all, Natalie number. I don't understand. I don't get it because you just said Natalie called you. After the reunion, after you attacked her at the reunion, you said Natalie called you and checked up on your mental health. Right? Remember, you you just said that. Natalie reached out to me recently. Yes. And she's very concerned about my mental. Where is your mental? I don't know why. I'm guessing like at the reunion, you know, Natalie, she was going off. She called her broken. You know, she said she wasn't a bad. She said, you messed up my $5,000 shoes. I'm going to take that shit out your check. I'm guessing E.T. got triggered from the reunion because you and Natalie, are not not that y'all fine on that, but she just called you. It was no, she called you and checked on your mental health. A lot of people not going to do that shit. And so it's like, how can you be mad about? Now pause. Wait. Something weeks ago when y'all already got over it. You know what I'm saying? All the shit child is like now I know for damn sure she not coming back. It's like that nigga. This was you know, I don't know. Nah, this was like the icing on the cake and the sprinkles and the candles. Like you you went too far for nothing. So she leaked Scotty number as well, and Scotty responded first. She said she put the number right. Then she said, "Et, you're weird." 
I'm literally enjoying my life and your dirt, dirt ass so miserable. Go off, boogie. Fans texting Anna, right? Anna said, uh, Scarface, I know it sucks still. Sitting in that broke down hood is okay. Anna said, Scarface with them roaches. Mad we in our high rises doing something with ourselves. She blew them Zeus checks quick. She's spiraling. I ain't gonna lie, E.T. She kind of right. I mean, not about the roaches and stuff like that, but like you crashing out right now. You crashing out. Anna said, everyone go tell E.T. get her kids out the hood and stop spending money on bad BBLs and teeth that glow in the dark. Ooh, let's leave the kids out of it, Anna. E.T. posted a picture that just said, uh, hashtag unbothered. No, you clearly are bothered because you just leaked their numbers. It was kind of like, yeah, you are. You are bothered. What do you mean? Anna said, find something safe to do. Like getting your kids out them sheltered, broken homes. Uh, was so worried about trying to become pretty. You failed terribly. Bad investments, boo, Scarface. Damn. Now, then Anna leaked everything. Well, not even, not everything. But, like, she leaked her real name, which some of us already knew her real name. Uh, she leaked the age, the full name, right, and her current address and past addresses. Now, look, I get it. I know Scarface started this shit, and it's crazy. But it's like them kids there. She got kids. She got kids. That's the only reason. It's the kids. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids and fuck the mama. Collateral damage. Why did you leak the numbers in the first place, Scarface? What the f Why would you do that? Say, keep sending me information, order, in the court. So it's the fans. Y'all find it? Shit, y'all some detectives because I don't know how to find shit like that. I wouldn't even know where to start. I think I just found out E.T. Uh, actual first name like a week ago. <laughs> the damn detectives. Honestly, I told y'all, stop being weird to me because I could be weirder. Matter of fact, I'm the weirdest. Right? Then honestly, she said this on her story. You should have never took it there, Give me an inch and I'm going to take a motherfucking mile. Shouldn't have posted my number, Cause now yeah. I'm gonna post your mama address, your daddy address, and your ugly ass baby father address. And you thought I didn't know who he was? I do. Child, that shit about to get messy. That shit's about to get messy. And ET and ET and Anna in the same fucking city. Then it's Scotty's birthday, right? And then Natalie ain't do shit to you. Uncalled for, unnecessary. That that shit weird. That shit been weird. That shit weird, weird. You have to seeky to seeky. She went live. I'm um, talking about ET in the fight at the reunion. First of all, Tasiki is such a shit talker, right? To the point where it's annoying, but I still be laughing because like she be dead serious and like she be telling the truth. So, but she is such a shit talker. I'm just giving face shots back, but yes, girl, y'all see when I walk her down? When I see how it's down, like when you when you like that, that's just like you know, that's you trying to like literally break a person down. That's what I was doing. I was trying to break it down. She she just. She was reckless. I hate a reckless fighter. So. Let me show you how we do stuff around here. Actually, oh. my department uses Monday.com. Reckless fighters. You really break them down. And you know how I was being like, nah, nah. And that slow motion, because I promise you. She was hurt. The breast, the lobster bisque. She was hurt. You should have took some class seriously. What about me? What about me? Y'all talking about she should have took classes, but I mean, I haven't took any classes. She needs to take classes. Well, she wasn't training. I remember seeing her boxing. She was training. So that, whoever was her trainer, I fooled his ass up too. Let me would be able to be out there. Let me let me would have a trainer and I'm out there getting walked down. And the trainer know exactly what I was doing to her. Like I'm not talking about nobody that just they can fight. I'm talking about somebody not fight. People that ask me how to fight know exactly what I'm doing. Not a, a, a person that likes to tell you how to fight after you fight. Put your kid on my face. <laughs> And I don't care if y'all get mad. I don't care. I'm doing it because y'all get mad. Once y'all stop getting mad, I'll stop talking about you. She didn't get jumped, but these hands will make you feel and look like you got jumped. She did not get jumped, y'all. We did not be out there jumping. She could have. So, what she gonna do? Nothing. She could have got jumped. But it was no point. No girl couldn't even walk. Mm. There's so many clips that he left out. They saved her. And if she tried to go and say Zeus did all of this and, and, did, and the edits in her favor, Shouty, Zeus show everything, Shouty. In the parts that they didn't show, girl, 
you will be trying to sue somebody because you look terrible, bro. Now, tag teaming is different. Now, my fault your teammate wasn't being a team player. <laughs> Not my fault. Now you gotta wake up every day and see what you did, see what happened to you the rest of your life. <laughs> And that is the one on one. How to stop a bully. She grabbed my hand, but what I do? Walk her down. Walk her down. <laughs> my hairstyle is that night put my wig on so light. Like, you look it's like he put it on so we can get snatched. Mind you, I'm not on my time zone. You on your time zone and still ain't get with it. Girl, you on your whole time zone. It was literally, well, I was being her ass. It was 3.30 a.m. West Coast. But for me, it was 6.30 a.m. I'm East Coast. You know what I mean? It was 6.30 a.m. That's what I was doing to that girl. That's crazy. Walking her down. Walking like a dog, beat your ass on you. Um, she's up here talking about the um, security she has for more time. Girl, sister girl, you know, they give you five seconds. I asked for 10 seconds extra. Sister girl, when you got hands like this, you can put in requests like that, baby. Anywho, um, that's it for this video. So if you found it interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, um, turn on notifications. Shout out to that creator. Again, the name is Peep and T, Peep and T on YouTube. Because honestly, without this video, I, I would have been fucking confused. So as y'all saw, child, as y'all saw, um, as y'all saw, child, yeah. <laughs> yeah let's keep it going let's keep it going because i don't know where else am i going where else am i going where else am i going okay because it's just so much going on child so much going on <sighs> broly ended up going live so i guess let's get into that I'm about to and mind you i tried to find the full live i could not find it anywhere Shout out to the video that's premiering now and shout out to those of y'all that's watching it. I could not find the live that Roly did. So hopefully, oh, let me turn my phone off. So hopefully I can find a full live, like once I start looking after this. But let's just go ahead and get into this. Shout out to this person, Dumpa Ashley, that uploaded this. Because at least we got something. Because the blog's only going to post like, you know clips just so they can make a tweet out of it you know what i mean i need the whole entire fucking life because i like context but let's get into this tell you why so she's lying so much i just seen a little interview she did and that just kicked me off just stay in my trailer i took all my things from my trailer and put it in et's trailer because i wanted to stay with her all night Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. We was me, Jonathan, Scotty. We was all up in a trailer. You know, we was teaching Scotty how to fight. We was teaching her, you know, how to run up on people and everything like that. We was smoking big blunts. <clears throat> of course, I'm going to take a nap. It's about one or two o'clock in the morning. I, I honestly feel like she just is, is an a, a attention seeker. You know what I'm saying? And it, it just, it's just weird to me how you expect for me to just stay up. For hours, I'm a weed smoker, so you think that I'm not going to take a nap before we right. go out? So, yeah, when we went out, I asked her, was she ready? She said, yeah, because we already planned over what we was going to do. She was supposed to run up on who she was going to run up on, and I'm going to run up on who I'm going to run up on. So it confused me when yeah, I that, found out she ran up on That was Alex. crazy. How, I mean, whoever this that is that's crazy. interviewing that her crazy. to shut the fuck up and let her talk. Let her talk. Let her get her shit off. God. Oh, I hate when people are biased. Like you, like if y'all gonna be sitting down doing these little interviews and and these discussions with these people, let them fucking talk. Let them talk because you you end up coming across like a fan. You end up coming across biased, and you have to remain unbiased, even if you can't stand a bitch. Like I would sit down with Roly or Et into do a, in into an interview, and I would let them talk. I would ask them the most appropriate question. Well. And by appropriate, I don't mean like I'm not going to touch certain top. No, I'm going to ask the, the questions that need to be asked.
but let them talk. Because the way that you jumping in, sir, is giving fan. It's giving messy queen. Like you was the one who told EBT that Natalie set her up. Like let 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 Rolly speak. Let her get everything off her chest. She was too because a lot of us is confused because we didn't even see that coming. Like we didn't even I didn't even deep. know she did it. And that was the crazy thing when Natalie told me, like, yeah, EP did. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? The crazy thing, the reason why I was upset about that is because during the filming of Baddies. And now I wasn't even gonna say nothing, but now I don't even give a fuck no more because bitches wanna leak my number. I have to change my number. All- let me let me rewind that real quick because I, I, I need y'all to hear this real good. What she said. Filming of baddies. And now I wasn't even gonna say nothing, but now I don't even give a fuck no more because bitches wanna leak my number. I, One more time. I think the reason why I was upset about that is because during the filming of baddies. And now I wasn't even gonna say nothing, but now I don't even give a fuck no more because bitches wanna leak my number. I have to change my number. So she, what she's about to say, she wasn't gonna say, but bitches leaked her number. So you was cool with being friends with the bitch. You was cool with protecting girl. You was cool with being up in the trailer with her during the whole reunion. Da, 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 da. But when it came to her attacking Natalie, you felt like that was her attacking your bag, and you had to make make it clear, Natalie, I'm aligned with you because I want to be back for baddies. I don't want you to cut my chat thinking that we on some weird shit. You protecting your bag. Okay, I, I can get it from a realistic standpoint of view. But given what she's about to say, I need people to keep that in their mind. Because the tweets that I'm seeing where motherfuckers, y'all start y'all starting to do that weird shit. And this is exactly why I'm in this commentary space because I can't stand when y'all do this weird shit. It's, ex- it's extremely triggering for me. It's extremely triggering for me. Because just because Roly is, is telling truths or spilling tea about someone does not absolve her of all the fucked up problematic shit that she's done. For some reason in y'all fucked up heads... Y'all feel like, oh, because now Roly is speaking about what E.T. did. No, oh, yes, praise Roly. Okay, we don't, we we love you now. Okay, you're queen. No, Roly literally just said I hop out during the filming of Baddies, which happened over July and August. This is what happened. What she's about to say, but she was still cool with her all the way since July and August up until as recent as this reunion when it was filmed, which was what two weeks ago. Keep that in mind. All kind of weird shit. You're leaking that number, everything. So when she first got to the house, the bitch didn't have really nothing. She didn't have anything. When I tell you nothing, she didn't have nothing, not even soap. She had some toothpaste and a toothbrush. I spent $700 on clothes and shoes for her. Then I spent them there $1,000 for her, her passport so she can get to fucking Jamaica. She wasn't even going to make it to Jamaica because she didn't have no money. She didn't have nothing to her name. And I didn't say nothing because I was being such a good friend. I'm like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that you're comfortable here. We fought for her to be in house and we fought for her to be on them private jets. We fought for her for everything. Natalie invited this girl out every single place we went. When I tell you every single place, she didn't have to drop a dime, a dime on nothing. And she's on the phone with people like, oh yeah, they taking care of me. I ain't got to do shit. I'm getting princess treatment. I'm getting princess treatment. I'm this, I'm that. And I'm not saying nothing because I'm like, okay, maybe this is just, you know, how she feels. Because but now every time to be funny, her running up on now. This is what I'm talking about. Why the fuck he keep interrupting? Nigga, shut the fuck up. But since he wanted to interrupt now, it's my turn. This is what happens when you cast this certain type. And y'all going to get mad? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. All black people are not one and the same. Just because you're from the hood doesn't mean that you're necessarily a problem or problematic. But nine times out of ten, people that live in the hood end up being fucking problematic because there is a certain stereotype. There's a certain stereotype. There's a certain demographic of people, right? Because you have the pat on my weave, eat hot Cheetos all day, pop bubble gum. Wear my nacho cheese sunflower seed. You know, I'ma fuck him. I'ma I'ma love him. And then I'ma hold the baby from spending time with him because he don't want to be in a relationship with me. Like you have that whole aesthetic of a person. And that's what they cast, right? So that's how you end up with an ET who comes on this show with not a damn thing to her name but y'all done hyped up her head in the comments let me done hyped up her head y'all got her thinking like oh 
baddies needed ET. So she coming on over here with her broke ass on TV, not having a dime to her name. Got everybody doing things. And it's not even necessarily because we care about you, but it's because, bitch, you want TV. Like, you, you got to look somewhat presentable, right? Even if you're going to be getting fucked up and fighting every day, you got to look somewhat presentable, like whatever. And we're not about to go out to dinner with 20 bitches and we all eating for free. And then like you, you can't eat because you ain't got no money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a, a level of entitlement that, that be- begins to start. Right. And a lot of it has to do with that hood mentality. It's that hood mentality, but this is the type of bitches that they cast it. This is who they wanted. Right. But this is also, too, the clear difference between people on Zeus and people on Now That's TV. Now, mind you, there's a line, but it's a very, 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 very thin line. Like, Zeus is only but a notch up above Now That's TV. But again, it's a certain type of person that they go after, so this is a part of it. Natalie's career was ungrateful because she did give you an opportunity. Man, Natalie Natalie flew her fucking hair girl out from Oakland when we were in New York or wherever we was and the girl came with wigs for everybody in house A. Natalie didn't have to do that. Right. Literally. She, she's borrowing clothes from Scotty. She's Scotty giving her clothes. Everybody's giving her things. We're making her feel like, okay, look, we we gonna take Scotty number two. We can. You know what I'm why saying? Why the why the fuck is this this is what I'm talking about? Why is he asking about did she leave Sky number two when she's talking about important shit? Everybody can't be in this commentary space. Some of y'all need to just just watch the show and upload the clips. Everybody can't be in this space because why the fuck is he at? Listen, I'm not here to drag him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's annoying me as a viewer. You asking about Sky's number being leaked and she's trying to talk about how, like she's dropping tea on House A and all that they did for, for Scarface that we had no idea about. Coming out the motherfucking pocket soap and shit. Like Bitch, are you serious? You can't even afford so. So after um after baddies happen, I can show my call off. Me and ET barely talk. We barely fucking talk. Now, wait I never a minute. really talk after um after baddies happen. I can show my call off. Me and ET barely talk. We barely fucking talk. I never really talk to that girl on the phone. I just make it say how it is on the internet for everybody because that's how the fans want it to be. Whatever the fuck y'all say. Uh, whatever y'all say. I didn't talk to her on the phone. I didn't barely even text that girl. When we'll, we'll, it'd be like phone text. She won't answer, and then maybe she'll answer tomorrow. That's how I be, and then we'll spend time on the phone talking about Tiseki. I don't want to keep talking about and you don't talking like that. You don't like talking about people that you And that's you how it was. That's why I fell out with Biggie, because she wanted to keep talking about Thunder. So it was like, the, the, the thing with the boy, when she told me that the boy said that um, Natalie was going to set her up. I knew it was a lie because she called me one day out the blue. And it was before the reunion. She called me one day. She said, I just want to tell you, I'm talking to somebody that works for Zeus. And um, he's telling me that Taseki is going to run up on you. And she's going to do all this. She's going to sneak you and everything. Not even knowing that me and Taseki already didn't had a FaceTime call for two damn hours on the I still got that conversation too. So basically, it sounded like she was trying to get to Seki. You want to Seki to fight. I, no, I, And it was. And I told her, I said, don't believe what, what you are hearing. I said, because I just literally got off the phone with her like a few days ago. And it was none of that. And we just filmed Bad versus Wild together. And me and Seki had a whole talk about the reunion. We already talked about that shit. Right. So that's why me and Tiseki didn't have no problem with each other. We ain't finna fight because there's no fucking problem. And I told her that. So another incident happened after that. I'm like, okay, she's starting to listen to these fans. She's, she's starting to listen to these fans. And I don't know if she about to get into the point that I was making earlier, because I thought she would have already got into it by now. But you can still take what she said from earlier because it still applies to all of this. Like, all of this is now coming out because your number got leaked and because she came for Natalie. Honestly, I think all of this isn't even because her number got leaked. I feel like it's really because she came for Natalie and she wants to make it clear to Natalie and try to get back on the fans' good side. Like, oh, I'm against ET too. Because let's not sit and act like we don't remember the whole petition that was started on Roley all of January. Let's not sit and act like they didn't intentionally leave Roly out of the baddies Caribbean auditions 
for a reason after they had leaked that she was already going to be a part of the show in the promo. So Roley's taking pages out of Natalie's book and she's doing some production work here too behind the scenes. But let's see if she go ahead and get into the whole sexual allegations. Because that's my problem with Roley. You was cool with all of this, including the sexual allegations. And I'm not even going to say sexual allegations, the rape allegations. He was cool with all of that. But now, all of a sudden, it's Mad Day. Okay. And she got this group chat to where she got these kids in this group chat. And they doing all kind of weird shit. She in there cussing their ass out, making them do things. Like, all kind of shit. And I told her, like, these are children. You know what I'm saying? These are fucking kids. I don't even do that with my stand pages because I know they kids. But at the end of the day, she just started moving. And the gag is, is that, yes, a lot of them are, but a lot of them are also adults that act like kids. And that's part of the fucking problem, too. I need for people to stop assuming that everybody that is a stand page, whether we talking about baddies, bad girls club, Beyonce, Rihanna, Nikki, like, stop assuming that everybody's 12 years old. You would be surprised. You would be surprised. That's how motherfuckers be leaking everything and getting access to this information because just because you are a stand-up someone doesn't mean that you don't have a life outside of it even if you do dedicate most of your life to worship in this one person but like that's how these people are getting access because verizon there's people that work at verizon there's people that work for the government there's people that work at all of these different places that have the resources that you need to be able to dock somebody and put it online and yes these stand people work there and work in these places and it's grown ass motherfuckers Grown ass motherfuckers. It takes nothing for somebody to be a part of the Beehive or be a barb. And you just so happen to be a barb or a part of the Beehive. And you just so happen to be what? A manager at Verizon. And you know how to go into the account and look up a number. That's how this shit happens. It's not little kids that's getting access to this information. Stop assuming that. Because that would mean that every kid is a fucking genius. And every kid ain't me. <laughs> but <laughs> catch it. Weird. So the day of. The day of, she's talking about, oh, I, 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 yeah, this is why. This is the reason why. I'm about to tell you the reason why. So the day of, we were filming for my show, October 31st. What show? We were filming for my BBW strip off. And. Roly. Not Roly. Roly. Did y'all go like this video? <laughs> like this video. Tell me what you wanna be. Tell me what you wanna see now. Honey, this is semi free. Is it ever is it me? I feel like I need some of You tried to fight, but you can't me. My brain is racing for Rowley, please, because I'm going to need some motherfucking clarity. You're, you're filming for your what? First, we were filming for my BBW strip off. Oh, my God. She was staying at my Airbnb, but the Airbnb had, you know, I had to get another one, but I didn't have to. So I just went home. Zeus ended up getting her a hotel. So she ended up staying at the hotel with Zeus. Right. Why the next morning? And you know, the next morning, I come downstairs, I'm picking her and my security guard and everything up. Before my security guard could get downstairs, she's telling me how she fucked the cameraman and mm -hmm. how she was going to say that if she found if. And I'm like, okay, well, why would you do that? Like, why would you fuck the cameraman? Wow. She's like, I don't know, I regret it. But if anybody ever find out, I'm going to just say he raped me. Well, hold, I, on. Like, what? hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, immediately, go back, go I said, what back. the fuck? Like, why would you, why are you even thinking like that? Like, okay, this girl's fucking crazy. <sighs> Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going.
So the day of, we were filming. Get the fuck away from her a little bit yet. So she ended up staying at the hotel with Zeus. Was going to say that if she found him. And I'm like, okay, well, why would you do that? Like, why would you fuck the cameraman? Wow. She's like, oh, no, I regret it. But if anybody ever find out, I'm going to just say he's. Well, hold, on. I, like, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Immediately, back, I said, what back. the fuck? Like, why would you, why are you even thinking like that? Like, okay, this girl's fucking crazy. That's wow. Like, this girl's fucking crazy. So I honestly, I backed the fuck away from her a little bit yet. Because why would you lie and try to put somebody behind bars and let this man lose his job because you was horny? So the day of, we were praying <sighs> for my. Here we go. Another thing Honey, just uploaded. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. You out here telling lies on people. Now, bitch, you leaking numbers and addresses and shit. She didn't leak my address. She leaked my number. I changed that motherfucker quick. I don't give a fuck. I was being supposed to change that bitch anyway. But, bitch, you're dumb. You're dumb and you're done. That's what it is. You fucked up your own chance for you to go attack Natalie. And that's the, the, that's the bitch that was taking care of you the whole time. I didn't get it. I even asked her why. Talking about because Natalie don't check up on her and stuff. Girl, Natalie barely check up on me. But then you say y'all won't, won't talk it like that? If that's the case, we was not. Man, well, I'm, I'm going to share, I'm I'm share my call off. I'll call her. She won't answer. She'll call me and be like, I'm doing something. And then I'll end up calling her back the next day. We'll spend a little time on the phone talking about the baddies. Nothing else. I'm even trying to get the girl booking. Me and Natalie, fucking booking manager, is trying to get her. Because people are asking her to book. I'm telling her she's she's so caught up in Sasaki. That's the only thing she was caught the fuck up in. And it started to get on my last motherfucking nerve. She didn't want to make no money. She didn't want to do shit. Everything for free freedom. But when it got time to come travel for you to book your flight, like I told her I would help you. Like it all this other shit. She wanna be concerned about the baddies. She wanna be concerned about fighting to Siki. She wanna be concerned about being in these group chats with these motherfucking goddamn kids fans and shit like i i can't i can't i can't get there's only a certain thing i have a 15 year old and for me to hang around a bitch that at the same age as him is not fucking happening it's not happening it happened the entire time of filming what changed what changed roly i'm so sorry i can't do it i got one kid i don't want to be around a fucking grown-ass child that i gotta keep monitoring and telling people shit and and and, and all this no, i'm i'm done i'm fucking done and that's why i never said anything she didn't do all these interviews about me and spoke about i never said nothing because i'm like just going about yeah i heard it here first you already know what happened just going about the fucking business and i wanted her to go on about her business but bitch you want to leak people's fucking number like a weirdo like a kid okay okay how you doing? I'm done. How you, I'm I'm done. You no more. I'm sick of the bitches I know. It won't be no more. Oh my God, I love her. None of that. Because I'm sick and tired of people making it seem like I'm the bad person when they don't even know what the actual fuck is going on. Girl, you are. You are. You are. You are. And all of y'all that's sitting here now trying to be Team Broly, y'all are just as motherfucking pathetic and y'all deserve to get walked on like the welcome mats that y'all are. Because just because she's sitting here doing all of this talking and exposing Scarface, again, it does not absolve her of anything that she's done. And then the fact that you were cool with Scarface this entire time, up until it no longer benefited you, and now you want to have Mad Day and come out and yell and be aggressive and talk about what the fuck was going on behind closed door. Girl, shut the entire fuck up. You was cool with all of it. You had no problem with all of it. So you're just as problematic. Oh, even with the Slim situation. Y'all don't know why I be, uh, befriended Slim. It had nothing to do with the show. The bitch was using me for money. And I got tired of it. I got tired of sending her money. I got tired of calling my friend. And she's ignoring my calls. Because she got what the fuck she wanted out of me. Y'all don't know shit. I done been through so much shit with these bitches. So then explain it then. That See, that'd be the problem. It's like y'all get on and y'all say everything but say nothing at the same time. It's like if you, you got on TV. You already know that these people is invested in these relationships because these are the relationships that you formed on TV. Like, it's quite different than somebody that picks and chooses what to tell. Or, like, and by that, I mean, like, like a storyteller, right? I could even use it myself, for example. Like, getting on YouTube and then telling a story time. 
I'm telling a specific story, Tom. You are locked in for the experience of that 10 minute video or that hour video. That's it. Right. But it's different than a show where literally your storyline is what's going on with this person. And I know some of y'all might be like, well, how is it really different? The bitch, it is. It is. It is. It's completely fucking different. Because you can reference a story, but it's just you talking about your life experiences, right? Versus you signing up to go on a TV show. You having a storyline. This whole storyline is, okay, this is who you're aligned with. This is your people. Da, 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 da. So naturally, people are going to have questions. I mean, either way, people are going to have questions. But naturally, we've literally seen both of you together during the good times. And so people are going to ask about the bad times. And so I would just talk about it. Because that's how we end up here, where now, again, you're having mad day, and now you're wanting to expose this, that, and the third. Like, nothing wrong with saying, listen, we're no longer speaking. This is something that happened unrelated to the show, but I just feel like I don't want this person in my life. Cool. But then when y'all sit and y'all try to play these social media games or play these reality show games, this is why shit gets egged on for so much longer. And this is when people start coming up with all of these theories and whatnot. I'd have been nice. I'd have gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. And I'm tired. Why the fuck can I not have the same friendship back in return that I give out? Right. Nobody. Because you're just as problematic. You're just as problematic. And that's why you keep attracting this shit. Never, I don't want y'all to buy me shit. I don't want y'all to do nothing for me. Just be, be there. You know what I'm saying? Slim knew what the fuck I was going through with my depression and everything. But guess what? Slim was calling me, talking about, hey, you got this, you got that, you got this. Oh, my God, my mama's about to put me out. I have nowhere to go. You come here. Okay, next thing you know, she back home, whatever the fuck she doing. Now, I'm going to the money over. She, it's crazy. Right. It be the cra craziest shit, and people really be thinking that it has right. nothing to do with the show. You know, the it don't house. have nothing to do with the show. I don't be friends. Girl, you sitting here going off and yelling like people are wrong to think that it has something to do with the show because this is how we was introduced to y'all. That's not our fault, Buki. These bitches, because what the fuck? It's what the fuck they do in real life. They show their real fucking self, and I can't deal with it. I'm so sorry. I got enough already on my plate. You think I want to deal with somebody and they mental? No, I cannot do it. E.T. on there talking about she retarded. She got screws, but she retarded and all. And I'm just sitting there looking. Then lied to me. First of all, then lied to me. Lied to me about... Because DJ Sky, when we were leaving Jamaica, DJ Sky had a booking with French Montana. So they had to take E.T. off the private jet and put her in a bus with the other girls to travel back to Montego Bay. So when E.T. got back, she's screaming in the house, screaming and screaming and screaming, Riley! Riley! I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? She's like, y'all left me. Nobody left you, E.T. You are here. And what? she's talking about, y'all left me with them bitches and I don't fuck with them. But you were kissing them on a the bus, telling them how much you love them and how much Hold you could have told they them how much you could have spent time with them. Yes, it's, and she did. Because mm. all, even, some of the producers on the bus saying she did. Kissing them while they sleep come out. I wish I would have had a uh, could have had a great a better time with y'all and all this other stuff. But you doing this shit behind my back? These is bitches that we just got in school with, and you telling them that you love them and that you wish you could have had a great time with them kissing Biggie and shit. Like, and then gonna lie to me about it when I asked about you. No, that's not true, girl. You lied. You lied. The cameras wasn't on. No, you hate liars. I hate liars. She lied. She lied about it. It did happen. Why do you have to lie about things that you did? Like, I don't like shit like that. If you felt like you wanted to be their friend, you could have been their friend, E.T. You didn't have to follow behind me. You don't have to follow behind me. I'm not your motherfucking mama. And I never told that girl to follow behind me during the show. She did what the fuck she wanted to do. And that's what people felt like. They, I didn't tell E.T. to do They did say that was your lap dog. She did what exactly what she wanted. All of this is mighty convenient. And we're going to address the fact that now E.T. is coming out. I'm sorry. Now Roly is coming out saying that she's not returning for Baddies Caribbean. But I mean, what did I tell y'all before? If you've been following my videos, I told y'all that it was going to be that. I told y'all 
that what they was going to do was they was going, now that we already done seen Roly in the Baddies Caribbean promo, they was going to act like she wasn't returning for Baddies Caribbean, and then they was either going let her take a couple of episodes off and then try to sneak her in halfway through the season or let her sit a season out and then let the next season after that be a whole redemption era. But Roly's not done with Zeus. She's not done with Zeus at all. Like I said, we'll get into Roly announcing that she's not returning to Baddies Caribbean after this, but this is all to me is, is given PR stunt. It's all given. And mind you, all of this, I do believe is true. I believe that all of this is true, but I also believe once you start realizing how reality TV works and how it's all a game within a game and a show within a show, especially when you're close to Natalie and you can ask Natalie or you can see how Natalie moves. And this is why I tell y'all not to get upset at Natalie because Natalie plays a character, right? And those that are smart, they recognize the characters that people are playing. They recognize the game that they're in. And they, they're they able to be 10 steps ahead of, at all times. And I feel like that's where Roly is. It's like, oh, let me conveniently drop all of this now. E.T. is getting dogpiled on. Yeah, she leaked my number. Okay, cool. Not saying that she wouldn't be mad at that. But it just gave her the ammo to fire off at E.T. Everybody, like, y'all know what Mad Day is. Mad Day is when you've been saving and saving and saving, you know, that anger, and then boom, it comes out. Doesn't mean that you didn't already have receipts and whatnot. Like, it just means that it came out now. I believe that she's been feeling this way for a long time. Well, mm, yes. But I also feel like her, her friendship with her was convenient. Because like I said, at the same time, you came to the reunion protecting this girl. Protecting this girl. I don't believe that y'all didn't really... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter whether or not they really talk like that since the show ended. Because at the end of the day, you still put up the front and the facade. And you can say, oh, it's for the fans, da, 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 whatever. You still put up a, a, a global front that y'all two was fucking around like that. But right now, the way that all of this is coming out is very convenient. It's very convenient. Because it's not like, oh, Baddies Caribbean not going to be in some next shit. No, Baddies Caribbean is literally starting. That era is literally starting in two weeks. So, yeah, let me jump on ET getting dog piled on. I already had all of this that I've been waiting to say. I was waiting till Mad Day. She just gave me the ammo to go ahead and release it today. Let me go ahead and announce that I'm not coming back for, for Baddies Caribbean. You know, all of it. I've seen this before. And I'm always right. I'm always right. I've seen this before. This is all a part of Roly's redemption era. And it's already working because clearly y'all dumb ass bitches are in her comments and on Twitter talking about, oh, team Roly. Oh, I'm so sorry. And oh, she did you so dirty. G can y'all stop with the victim shit? Stop with the victim shit. Please stop with that shit. Wanted to do. And then the, the shit backfire. Who you blaming? You got me fucked up. You're not about to make it seem like I... Because <laughs> I never told you to do that shit. You was looking for camera time. Same thing with Slim. Slim want to jump in all my shit. Camera time. I told her, when we was like, Slim, stop jumping in my shit. I don't need you to jump in my shit. I don't care because when I see my sister's fight, I just want to... Like, no, because then that's going to make us look fucking bad. So if that's the case, then the second that you saw E.T. doing it, why didn't you say something to E.T.? Why didn't you say something on camera to E.T.? Knowing that that's already the image that you have since Batty South. You went into Batty's West doing it, okay? Because <laughs> let's remember how in Batty's West, she jumped into Tommy's fight with Stunner. Stunner never had a problem with with um with Roly, but Roly had it out for Stunner Girl because if you remember, on the bus... Biggie sat her big ass on the back of that bus on the first episode and decided she wanted to speak up for all the girls and started picking at Stunner. She kept picking at her, picking at her, picking at her, right? I'm not saying bullying, but she kept picking at Stunner Girl. And then she started being condescending, talking about how she was boss and trying to make it seem like Stunner Girl was beneath her. And then Stunner was getting so pissed off because she was feeling like, okay, well, damn, if everybody feeling like this or is multiple people feeling like this, like child, like, and she said something to the effect of like, I slap anybody type shit, right? That's when Roly jumped into it and automatically had a problem out of nowhere with Stunner. But it's like, that wasn't even your fucking beef. And then let's not act like once Stunner girl got to the house and then Tommy and her started fighting that you didn't try to f jump in and tag team. 
So, Roly, let, let's not sit and act like, because there's been plenty of times where we could point out that you didn't have that act right. Please cut it the fuck out. I hate when y'all get online and try to rewrite history. Right. And she kept doing it. So, look, boom, you're gone. I feel like E.T. did that shit because she felt like she wasn't coming back. She kept asking me, do you think they're going to bring me back? I'm over here asking Zeus. See, she projecting right now. That's exactly why E.T. did that. But this is also why you're doing this, because you feel like you're not coming back. This is part of your redemption era. Are you guys bringing back E.T.? Told me, hey, that's something we got to talk about. Okay, no problem. But that's what a lot of them do. Like, let me expose Zeus because I might not come back. Like, that's not a good. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? We got to talk about. Okay, no problem. But that's what a lot of them do like let me expose you because i might not come back like that's not a good that's not gonna make nobody else leave, wanna work everybody's addresses even the bosses she gonna leave right. this fucking address she's just that is weird. crazy just weird as fuck and it's childish this is a show and as much as bitches love them checks they don't care about being on you know, fucking baddies they don't not care about being on baddies they care about them checks literally that's all she care about she care about the checks and she don't even, she didn't even have a bank account. I have to tell the girl to start a fucking bank account so she can get paid. I try to help this girl uh, so many fucking ways for her to sit there and try to make it seem like, bitch, I, I didn't get a motherfucking thing to you. Not a motherfucking thing to E.T. at all. Natalie didn't do shit to E.T. Natalie is a mother. She has her own life. The bitch is a businesswoman. She's traveling. What? Let me say something. I didn't even give a fuck. Natalie paid me to do a booking, right? And she's so busy that she forgot to pay me. I wasn't even, I, I knew, I know Natalie has the money. So I wasn't tripping, but she remembered, hey, I still owe you this money. Here you go. Let me give it to you while I'm right here. It was probably like a month that went by, a month or two. That Just unprofessional as fuck. Unprofessional as fuck, but again, it's Zeus. It's Zeus. I need everybody to remember that when y'all start putting on y'all capes to start defending. Like, and I'm going to start at, just like how I have a fucking outro every time I do a, a video, I need to start adding that to my outros, okay? Before you put on your cape, think about who it is that you getting ready to try and defend. Because when it comes to Zeus, Zeus is unprofessional as fuck. So it's just like the fact that Natalie and Roly did a booking and then it, it was a whole month that went by before Natalie paid her because she quote unquote forgot and Roly's rushing it off like oh she's a mother oh she and making all of these fucking excuses no bitch no I don't care how much money I got in my bank account I remember when it was nothing so send me my motherfucking money and the only time you're going to allow some shit like that to fly is not because of the amount of money that you got in your motherfucking account either y'all close like that and y'all got a close ass relationship like that to where you know that you good or you don't want to speak and step on your own toes because if I speak about this, it's going to create problems and create tensions. And then it might not be no more bags after that. And that's what it's given. It's given real calculated. It's given real produced. It's given real. I'm thinking about my long-term bag. All of this is given that all of this is giving that. And I hope that y'all are clocking it. From the second that Roly sat down on that reunion and confronted E.T., to her going outside to confront the guy, to her speaking up for Natalie, to her defending Natalie, to this right here, this live, and it's, it's giving, I'm protecting my long-term bag of my long-term investments. Let me go ahead and pile on E.T. so I can look like the good guy. I can look like the hero. It's already working. People in my comments, people on Twitter, now suddenly going up for me and living for me because I done called E.T. out. <sighs> okay. Okay, let me take a season off of Baddies Caribbean, then pop back up mid-season or next season after that, or pop up with my show. Because, I again, I did already film this show. Because, again, y'all, she did mention that she's filming at BBW or whatever the fuck it's called show. And she had E.T. pop up to help her film around Halloween. So that means Zeus done already spent money and invested into this girl. So, like I said, she's not going anywhere. All of this is intentional. Let me distance myself from ET so that by the time my shit drops, it does numbers and I can secure my check. Granted, from a business as aspect, makes total sense. But like, let's not sit here and act like, like just just keep it real and see that that I think that's the moment that I'm waiting for from Broly. 
I need y'all to start realizing that. What, what's that quote? Let me look it up before I try to be cute and creative and fuck it up. What's it called? Um, hold on. Real eyes recognize. Wait, real eyes realize real lies or whatever the hell that shit is. Shout. That's how I feel when it comes to Roly. Because just because she's saying a bunch of true shit and she's spitting facts, it doesn't negate all the lies that she's told and all the bullshit she's been in. It doesn't It doesn't negate that at all. Like, two things can coexist. And that's the problem that y'all be having in life. Like, y'all don't realize that duality is a thing. You can do good deeds, but also be a trash person. It's almost like when motherfuckers be murdering niggas or get caught for selling drugs or whatever bad criminal shit. And then you got motherfuckers like, I never knew they was like this. They were so good. They got straight A's. Da, 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 da. Okay, all of that could be true, but they still did this shit. They still did this shit. And just because of the good deeds that they did, we're not about to forget about this bad shit that they did. We're not. We're not. And I'm waiting for the moment for Roly to just come out with it and be 100% blatantly honest and be like, listen, Natalie, I'm not trying to fuck up my bag and fuck up my money because I see how you are. Natalie, you on this reunion talking about how ET done ran up on you and checked you and now you about to dock her check, dock her pay. I don't want to be next. I'm not about to align myself with this bitch and then have the fact that these girls keep trying to about girls, I mean the fans, you know, starting petitions and everybody hate me, this, that, and a third, and Zeus already invested in my own show and it's already filmed and I'm just waiting for an air date, but then my shit gets shelved because I'm aligned with this bitch. So you know what? Let me distance myself. Like, if Roly came like that, I would still not like her. <laughs> they could never make me like you, but I would at least have some sort of respect for her because it's like, okay, but to sit and come under the guise of what was me and I'm just, oh my God, the, my friend attacked me and I just, I don't know why I keep making these bad decisions when it comes to friends and it's not me. Like I cannot stand a lack of accountability. And I want, I, I, if you're watching my channel, realize that, realize that. Cause there's going to be times where you wonder, Scott, do you hate women? Do you hate gay people? Do you have to no. And let's stop going to, to you hating somebody or you you being phobic to somebody because you calling somebody to fuck out. There is a huge problem with accountability in this world. What you're not going to do, Roly, is sit and get on live. And because you're telling salacious tea about Scarface, now suddenly make us forget about all the fucked up shit that you were doing, not just Baddies East season, but since Baddies South, I am like the only person that keeps reminding y'all every time Roly's name is brought up that she's been this way since Baddies South. She went to Baddies West auditions, cursed them girls the fuck out. Hence why the girls came back around for the Baddies West finale and shot that bitch the fuck up with Stunner Girl and her boyfriend. And it was so much chaos and all of that because they remember how Roly and them girls treated them. And you thought that would have been a life learned lesson for Roly, but no, she came back even worse for Baddie's East auditions. Then she turned back around and did that shit again on Baddie's East and then started picking on T. And then when she got EBT in the house, she felt like she had a pit bull to help her. I'm not forgetting all of that because now she's she exposing shit about Scarface that we all sitting here, you know, sipping. Like, I. <laughs> Two things can be true at once. Scarface is trash, but so are you, Roly. And the fact that you held into all of this problematic shit, knowing this about your fucking friend, until you found the convenience to now drop and you only doing it because you're trying to save your bag. I think that's whack as fuck, honestly. Honestly, it's whack as fuck. But again, like I keep saying, before you put your cape on, think about who it is that you defended and why. Because at the end of the day, this is Zeus. They're unprofessional as fuck. They get here based off the auditions and them having to fight to get on a goddamn show to only then fight in the house. So I don't feel bad for not Nan person involved with any of the shit because there's no morals, no ethics, no legalities, none of that to begin with. So if you go in and work and a bitch want to hold your check for a month or two months and, until she feel like, okay, it's a new moon and there's a clear sky and it's directly at 53 degrees Fahrenheit, like... You want to go and work and let a bitch hold your fucking check until the stars align? That's on you. You want to go and align yourself with these bitches who are problematic and then knowing that y'all look like two big bullies in the house and then not say nothing, but now want to have mad day and that's on you. That's on you, Roly. That's on you.
that she forgot to pay. It was okay though. I'm not a broke bitch. I'm not about to worry about it. Natalie is one of them type of women. She's gonna go. She's working. She's going. She's working. She's going. Right. Only person she's really thinking about is her fucking daughter and her That's husband. Right. She ain't thinking about calling us from my hey, how are you doing? Bitch, you got a BBL. You got a fat transfer. Do you? That's not life threatening. Right. But come it's on now, crazy. that's her, that's your life boss. Life. Like your boss is not your friend. That's anybody. Like you should I be keep looking telling at your them boss that. Your I just don't understand. Like why would this you just care about yourself? Like if you was busy, you wouldn't have to worry about a bitch being worried about you. If you was busy enough, you would. If you would have just let, like, like just took some bookings or something. A bitch, well, you wouldn't even have to worry about another bitch worried about you. Literally. And I've, I've been trying to not worry about none of this shit because I'm healing. Literally, my body is motherfucking snatched. It's T, bitch. T to the fucking God. I swear to God, ain't no organ failure over here. Child. Child. So here we are. And if you thought that we was at the end of it yet, baby, we not because I just found the full live stream. So I don't know how much of it we done seen thus far, but by myself with all these bitches. Thank God I didn't get fucking jumped. They for whatever reason nobody has the full entire fucking. <laughs> oh, not me, not me sneezing mid curse. <laughs> they um. For whatever reason, nobody has the full entire fucking lob, so it's like playing fucking Easter egg hunt for this shit child. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this. And before we do, go ahead and like this video because apparently we still got more to talk about. Girl! Nothing for free. I cuss a lot. Bitch, I'm a queen. Not like the thought.
for you to go attack Natalie, and that's the the that's the bitch that was taking care of you the whole time. I didn't get it. I even asked her why. Tell me because Natalie don't check up on her and stuff. Girl, Natalie barely check up on me. But then you say y'all won't, won't talk it like that. If that's the case, we was not. Man, I'm, I'm gonna share my call. You. I'm gonna share my call off. I'll call her. She won't answer. She'll call me. Okay, so that part we already saw, but let me skim Damn. through. And I'm tired. Why the fuck can I not I'm fucking back? Right. And she kept doing it. So look, boom, you gone. Come on, back. These are bitches that. We, why do you have to lie about things that you? This that was your lap dog. I shit, camera time. I told her we was like slim. Stop. So, and as much as bitches love them checks, they don't care about being on you know, fucking baddies. They don't not care about being on. Baddies. She kept asking me, "Do you think they're gonna bring me back?" I'm over here asking Zeus, "Are you guys bringing back ET?" Told me, "Hey, that's something we gotta talk about." Okay, no problem. But that's what a lot of them do. Like, let me expose Zeus because I might not come back. Like, that's not a bitch. That's not gonna make nobody else want to work. Everybody's addresses, even the bosses. She don't leave like, this fucking address. She's just that is weird. crazy. Just weird as fuck. And it's childish. This is a show. And as much as bitches love them checks, they don't care about being on you know, fucking baddies. They don't not care about being on baddies. They care about them checks. Literally. That's all she care about. She care about the checks. And she don't even she didn't even have a bank account. I had to tell the girl to start a fucking bank account so she can get paid. I told this girl so many fucking ways. Baby, and that that goes back to that ratchet shit that I was talking about. That ratchet hood mentality, and that just clocked it even more for me. Clocked it even more for me because EBT is skipping. I thought this was going to be my come up. I, I'm getting these checks. I'm spending it fast to go stunt on the girls in the hood. Oh, I'm on TV, and instead of getting my kids about the goddamn hood. I'm gonna spend the bag on some teeth and spending on my body and spending on you know some 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 actual bags and purses and all of this dumb shit instead of like changing your life and making it better because you thought that Zeus was gonna bring you back you thought that the that the cameraman and the fact that you fucked him was gonna be your way in because you heard that everybody else was fucking to have clout and stay on the shelf like just a real ghetto mindset the fact that you didn't didn't even have a bank account. And no shade, no shade. I most definitely, I am no stranger to not having a bank account and having checks being deposited into Cash App or let me see, what was the thing where you get your money early, like two days before, like I, I, I get the cash events. Like I get it. I get it. But there is also something to be said about people that value cash over credit. And it's usually a hood mentality type of thing, right? And mind you, my credit fucking sucks. I need to build up my credit because I don't really have much credit and my shit sucks. So I'm not saying because you have bad credit. No, 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 no. I'm saying there is a certain type of person and that person is the type like E.T. You get a bag and instead of spending on what it needs to be spent on, you spend it on dumb shit. You think you can fuck your way into a better position you don't have the necessary tools that you need. You're not paying your taxes. You don't have a bank account set up. You're not trying to make sure your kids are set up. You're not trying to make sure you have a better life. You're trying to be like a hood celebrity. You're trying to be rolling around in the hood with a BMW. You value cash over credit because you feel like credit is unnecessary. Like that, that all goes into like the hood aesthetic. But again, that's what Zeus cast. That's what Zeus cast. Okay. And I'm not necessarily coming for anybody. If you lived in the hood, if you're from the hood, if you live in the hood, that's that's not what I'm saying at all. So don't start projecting. But what we're not going to do is sit and act like there aren't a lot of tropes and stereotypes and just a lot of ignorant ways of thinking that is created within the hood or pushed within the hood like that, like that goes on. And, T, and E.T. is one of them type of people. This was an opportunity for you to do better with your life. But you came on with an idea of thinking things worked one way and then now that it's not working out that way you in a way less position than you were when you got on the show because now people know your name but now you're infamous and i just learned the other day that infamous means that you're actually known for for bad shit or known for a scandal 
I thought infamous meant like you're known, but you're not like known, known. Like, because I used to call myself infamous, like, because I'm going viral. People know who the fuck I am. People know my goddamn name. Okay. There's celebrities that fucking follow me and, and are subscribed to the channel, but like not known on that level. But actually, infamy and infamous, according to Google, actually has to deal with somebody that is known for a scandal. And unfortunately, EBT, that's what you're known for, baby. Ways, for her to sit there and try to make it seem like, bitch, I, I did a motherfucking thing to you. Not a motherfucking thing to ET at all. Natalie didn't do shit to ET. Natalie is a mother. She has her own life. The bitch is a businesswoman. Okay, so we already went through this. What? We can go. Something like that to somebody. Small penis, that's and it crazy. wasn't good. Okay. Heard about a bitch being worried about shit of women she's gonna go she's working she's going she's working she's right. going only person she's really thinking about is her fucking daughter and her That's husband right. she ain't thinking about calling us from a hey how are you doing bitch you got a bbl you got a fat transfer do you that's not life threatening right but come it's on now, crazy. that's her, that's your boss. Crazy. Like your boss is not your friend. That's anybody like you can be looking at your boss as your friend. I just don't understand like why would this you just care about those stuff? Like, if you was busy, you wouldn't have to worry about a bitch being worried about shit. If you was busy enough, you would. If you would have just let, like, like, just took some bookings or something, a bitch, well, you wouldn't even have to worry about having a bitch worried about shit. Literally. And I, I've been trying to not worry about none of this shit because I'm healing. Literally, my body is motherfucking snatched. It's T, bitch. T to the fucking gods. I swear to God, ain't no organ failure over here, ho. But a bitch. Want to sit here and play games with me and leak shit? Like, that's why I knew someone was telling me, like, Rolly, don't bring this bitch to your house. Do not, don't bring this bitch to y'all. So I dropped her ass off as Zeus. Literally, when I, I went home to get all my stuff, I dropped her ass. I, I knew it. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Just send her with Zeus and she'll be fine sitting oh, there. Oh, yeah, your ass just should have been down next. I just knew it. I knew something about her once she said... One, and it was the, after I didn't let her come to my house the second day, that, that next day, that's when she slept with the cameraman talking about some, she, she said she was going to say he he raped her. And I, I'm just like, uh, that's not cool. Like, that's not even a fucking good idea to even say something like that to somebody. Good. Like, like, rape, that's a fucking serious allegation right there. Right, you just because you don't want people to know that you slept with him because you said he had yeah, a small that, penis that, and it crazy. wasn't good. Just because he got a small penis and it and the sex wasn't good. Hmm. And I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not getting nobody such a trouble on the internet. I don't know what he got going on at home. Uh uh. I don't know. Say their name. Say their name. Say 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 their name. Cause it better not be one of mine. Right. Nothing. But yeah. I'm glad After that didn't that, happen though. After that, it was. But they use the witness that. Like, yeah, uh -uh, I gotta stay away from. Mm -mm. That new no. said, said that because, ooh, she could have got him in bars. That's crazy. But it, thing is, Zeus already saw her. Some of the people from Zeus already saw her going upstairs to his room. <laughs> so I was confronted by some by some of them about the situation, and it I'm like, oh god. Female out here, females out here doing that though. I'm like, like, oh god, no, don't ask. He called me one day out the blue. And it was before the reunion. She called me one day. She said, I just want to tell you, I'm talking to somebody that worked for Zeus. And um, he's telling me that Paseki is going to run up on you. And she's going to do all this. She's going to sneak you and everything. Not even knowing that me and Paseki already didn't had a FaceTime call for two damn hours. On the I still got that conversation, too. So, babe, okay. And Paseki didn't like already. Why the next thing? Because we, we was Mike. And I, so I honestly, I backed the fuck away from her a little bit. Yes. Orin and you know, the next morning, BBW strip off, and she was staying at my Airbnb. But the Airbnb had, you know, I had to get another one, but I didn't have to, so I just went home. Zeus ended up getting her a hotel, so she ended up staying at the hotel with Zeus. Wow. There, she's telling me how she fucked the cameraman, break me. Well, hold on. Lose his job because yes. You so basically, she got put like, on like, roll. If my friend can't tell me when I'm wrong, you ain't my friend. So, so, so okay, so after that, she attacked Natalie.
spoke up on it, boom. Went to the trailer. I don't even know if they showed that part because I didn't even watch the shit. I asked her. I don't even know if they got the whispering part. She told me that she didn't want to tell me who told her because the, we had we was mic'd. And I'm like, girl, turn around, snatch the mic off, turn it off. Who, who told you? Was it was it was it Darian? She like, yeah. I said the same boy that told you that the sec he was gonna jump on me. She like, yeah. Okay. I ran the fuck up on her trailer. The trailer I was staying in all night while she's in there lying to me. I wasn't fucking with her, bitch. I was in your trailer from the time I got there to where I left. Everybody was in your trailer. We was all up in there having a great time. Why the fuck you sitting there lying? So I leave out of her trailer to go check Darian because why do you keep telling her lies to come to find out Darian and tell her none of that shit? Seeing the nigga call off everything. He just wished her fucking uh, good luck on the reeling and everything. So I'm like, E.T., come out. She gonna tell the security guard. I hear her. Um, Let's tell her. Check them DMs. 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 So I gotta find out where, because he ended up coming out and speaking out. But check them damn DMs. Because they was also in the Instagram DMs. I'm not coming out. Yeah. So what the fuck is going on? But not even trying to be funny when you asked her about it when you checked her about it and she started getting mad and swinging on security she kind of looked at like she like she knew she was there wrong like i know i fucked up i don't I know, know what she that. was doing and then after that of course natalie checked on her which was kind of crazy to me because i want to check on a bitch that attacked me natalie called her right after the reunion and was like and it wasn't not no few days ago, not none of that. It was right after the reunion. Natalie has not talked to E.T. ever since then. Natalie uh, uh, messaged us and checked on all of us, called us and made sure that we was all good, even after the girl attacked her. So next thing you know, I'm in a bed chilling. I see this bitch on live with some now that TV bitches that she was jogging on the phone with me. Talking dead shit about the same girl that was there in, wow. the, in, the, in the parking lot to help her. I'm sitting there like, you on live talking shit, telling people that I didn't help you and I left you. Bitch, you left me on the stage. Why? That's what I was ready to After ask I you. I asked you about why did you attack Natalie, I was left on the stage with all them girls. And I stayed. Do you know she left the reunion and came back? So she in real life fucking left me. She ain't gonna tell y'all that. She left the reunion and came back. They were trying to say you left ET. That was the narrative. So, so she left them talk talk about me as if and and lied so i'm sitting there watching the shit and i'm like oh so oh this is how it is you gonna sit there and let these bitches talk shit about me and lie and then i still i still got the call this bitch after that this bitch called me about seven eight ten times back to back i mean the phone couldn't even hang up she called me like a week later talking about please talk to me like you just when when so cal barbie said is you and roly still cool she's just sitting there looking I'm like, so we're playing this fucking game. We're playing at these games because you mad because the shit didn't go how you wanted it to go. You wanted to do some sneaky shit and wanted me to be okay with that. Bitch, we already got people bashing us on the internet for doing some for, for, for the shit that we did during the show. Now you want me to be okay with you for attacking Natalie out of the blue for no fucking reason? No, I'm not okay with you. Right. I'm not okay with you getting on the internet with some bitches right after, didn't even call me though. I hadn't heard from ET ever since. And that bitch decided to blow my motherfucking phone up. Blow my phone up. I have been stopped fucking with her like that ever since that little rape allegation she said she was gonna do. I'm not with none of that shit. I don't play little girl fucking games. I don't play little girl games with nobody. So we barely was even talking on the phone. It wasn't even like that and guess what i still defended her and that's the same shit that happened with slim and that's why i can't wait to this bad boy for bad versus wow episode come out because i confronted slim about the same thing lying on my motherfucking name on the internet talking about oh she ain't really nobody's friend no bitch y'all don't know what the fuck i go through with these bitches outside the show that's what y'all fail to fuck to realize these girls are younger than me so by saying stupid shit like that and the person that she fucked is my friend so why the fuck would i allow you to lie on my friend this is some somebody i've been working with for years right. and you gonna sit there and say he raped you yeah, i'm not crazy. with that and i'm not about to lie for you i'm not doing that i'm not with none of that shit so yeah you want to you want to figure out why I, I haven't been talking to you and shit like that because i've been trying to keep my distance, because I don't know what the fuck you would say and do about me. And now look, boom.
bitch got on the internet and lied, talking about I left her at the reunion, talking about she got jumped. Was you keeping your distance from her because you was watching her, or were you keeping your distance from her because y'all was playing phone tag? Because that's what you said earlier. You said y'all was playing phone tag. You said that you would hit her, check up on her, and try to talk to her and try to call her, but she would duck you and then wait until she wasn't busy to hit you back. But now you was distancing yourself. Like, so what is it? What is it? It could be both, but Roly's a liar. Roly hates liars because of the fear of her being exposed as one. Jump. Nobody jumped E.T. Nobody jumped her. Yeah. That's crazy. You got your ass beat. I told her I'm there to handle my business. I got three bitches to fight. Three. Actually, probably more if it was that. And then you leave me out on. <sighs> my God, my God, my God, my God. It's a lot going on, child. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on, but let's keep it going. Because we still not done. Because it's still updating, child. It's still updating as we talking. So apparently, Roly sent out a message, okay? Because I guess this Instagram live was done today, hence why we keep getting clips. But Roly said to Anna, these 304 speaking on me like, Anna, let's be real. We know why you got your spot. I've been at Zeus how long and I ain't had to suck shit for a spot. You keep being a throat baby because we know that's all you good for. Maintain them doctor's appointments for rag muffin you call a coochie. That's not a read to me because I already done told y'all about an hour ago why Roly is really mad at these girls. Again, start listening to me, y'all. Start listening to me because I'm always right. Always right. Always right. Because as soon as it's mad day, your true feelings come out. Here we go. And watch everybody in the comments probably gagging. Roly, wasn't you sleeping with securities and production? Yeah, speak on that. Somebody need to humble her so bad. I'm sorry, but every time Roly talks about somebody, I picture her rolling in Alfredo. Didn't she sleep with the security guard? I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Roly setting these allegations in stone. <sighs> Let's keep going. Um, Don't whack me, but I'm starting to like Roly again. Majority of the comments are agreeing, so fuck y'all. Roly still that bitch, even if she bow legged. I wish I could, but she lost me. She okay right now for me. I was just thinking this. She I right. she a mess right now. Same. I don't know. I think it was that live. Child, she was spilling tea. She only tells the truth after she falls out with someone. Same, she's funny. I just want to see her new body because it's giving tea. I'm sorry. I do too, boo. Don't let them silence you. I thought it was just me. She's starting to win my support back. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are seriously dumb. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are dumb. This is why these niggas be whooping y'all ass every day in real life. This is why life be whooping y'all ass. Because look at the decisions that y'all make. Based off of what? Off of really going live to talk about somebody else's tea? Now all of a sudden y'all like her again? This is how motherfuckers be ending up in abusive relationships. Because look at the, look at the fucking decisions that we make. Somebody could say I'm going too far. Am I really though? Because reality show or not, entertainment or not, like you're still making a decision to align yourself with someone who is clearly problematic. But again, again, what are we defending when we go and put the cape on? Right? It's Zeus. It's Zeus. Let's see. Was there anything else that I missed out on? Okay, this part right here. Terrific. I'm not. That's right. So is it safe to say that you're not going to be on baby to rip me? I'm not. Not anymore. Not anymore. I was ready to piss some hoes off. I was ready to piss them bitches off. But no, not anymore. I'm not. I, I can't. Because I, I got to make sure that my body heals. For the even next season. Oh, I'm coming full throttle. When I tell you full throttle. Start listening to me. Start listening to me. And this is exactly why I don't care what I say. This is exactly why I have the intro up that I do where I say, there's going to be days where you don't like me. There's going to be days where you can't stand me or you don't like what I got to say because I'm, I'm always right, baby. I'm always right. I spent this entire video...
I literally just said like 30 minutes ago. <sighs> Let's repeat what she said. That's right. So is it safe to say that you're not going to be on base correctly? I'm not. Not anymore. Not anymore. I was ready to piss some hoes off. I was ready to piss them bitches off. But no, not anymore. I'm not. I, I can't. Because I, I got to make sure that my body heals. for the even Next season, oh, I'm coming full throttle. When I tell you full throttle, bitches ain't getting away from shit. Y'all think that I mean so, now. So y'all better enjoy y'all love breaks that I'm only the ones that Enjoy had. it! <laughs> Bitches, and it's a choice. Cause trust and believe me, my motherfucking production team loved me, and I ain't going nowhere, bitch. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. But yes, I just definitely have to uh, make sure that my stomach fully closes and heals. Fully closes and heals. Um, After she done fought Camilla, Broly, and Anna Mac. After she done fought Broly, Camilla, and Anna Mac on a reunion. Now she wants to worry about her body healing. Mind you, she had the surgery before the reunion. Start listening to me, because like I said, <laughs> mighty convenient that all of this is coming out now. Out of sight, out of mind, y'all. Out of sight, out of mind. TV shows do this shit all the time. Even if you're not intuitive as fuck or psychic as fuck and you're not gifted like mwah, okay? At least put on your, your writing thinking caps. TV shows and movies do this all the time, literally. I don't know how many of y'all is a fan of the power universe like I am. Raising Canaan literally just did this on the finale where they made you think that Unique was dead all season. They stopped talking about him. They mentioned his body missing a couple of times. And if you watch Power, you know nobody. They probably alive, but Unique died. They stopped mentioning him, only for him to pop up on a motherfucking finale because out of sight, out of mind. All Roly had to do was this motherfucking live to get. Let's go back to it. Let's go. Let's go back to it. Where was it at? To get reactions like this. Don't whack me again, but I'm starting to like Roly again. All she had to do was get on live. And tell some gossip and tea for people to like her again. So imagine her sitting out for a season, us getting to know new bitches, dealing with other dynamics, completely forget. Because y'all can't even remember what the fuck a bitch does from the second that they at auditions to two weeks later when they filming the show. Y'all like y'all did not remember how Roly was at Baddie's East auditions to two weeks later when they filmed Baddie's East. So imagine her taking a whole entire season off after she just dropped all of these truth bombs. Exactly like I've been saying since the beginning. All of this is planned. She done learned from Natalie. Yeah, now that they whacking E.T., let me disassociate myself. Let me not align with her anymore because I need to protect my check and my bag and my investments. And please miss me with the, oh, anybody would do that for their business. And the, Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Keep getting played by Zeus and Rolly if y'all want to. That bitch ain't going no motherfucking way. She going to take a season off and she going to pop back up like nothing happened because y'all bitches is going to be none the wiser. Like I said, niggas is already in the comments now gagging for her. I'm not amused. I'm not amused. I'm not amused. Now, let me see if I can find um, those receipts because I don't remember what the receipts was. Oh, Scarf uh, Scotty had ended up leaking Scarface number. Y'all can try to call it if y'all want, but I already is disconnected by now. But that number is 213-643-8801. Again, the number is 213-643-8801. One more time. The number is 213-643-8801. In Spanish, dos uno tres seis cuatro. <laughs> but Ana say it's, oh, not Ana, child. All of, all of Linnell's bitches starting to look alike. Child. Anna, E.T., T., listen. E.T., you're weird as fuck. I'm literally uh, enjoying my life in your dirt, dirt ass. So miserable. Go off, Buki. Oh, Grandma done fucked her up. <sighs> I can't even remember where old boy had posted his receipts at. 
But honestly, do I care? The child, I, mm, we can get into it real quick so we can end this video. Because who knew that this shit was going to be two hours? But who knew we was going to be getting live updates every fucking hour? Let's see. Where was it? It was somewhere up here. Uh, 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 okay, let's see what these comments saying. Are these comments smarter? If she's telling the truth, then I might just actually watch the season because honestly, after watching Baddies East, I wasn't even sure I was gonna watch the next season. She better hope when she come back is Yay Roly and not Oh God. Here she go. Oh, I, 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 I'm sure that it's gonna be Yay Roly. Because y'all bitches is like, real forgetful around here. And y'all like to rewrite history. <sighs> Child, giving abuse a second chances and all that. Ooh, let me let me shut up. bro. y'all weird. I'm actually sad even though I couldn't stand her on East. Roly is a staple of bad. Girl, shut the fuck up. Bye. Who right? Okay. Um, Roly with some words for Anna's, Anna. We already got into that. Yeah, okay, so I don't remember, I don't, y'all, I don't remember, I don't remember where I saw that, um, I saw, I saw, oh, Baddies East and BGC, okay, it's so many fucking BGC pages, shout, maybe it was on this page, let me check this page and see if it's up here, no, this is the page that we was just on, so it's not on that one, let's try the Baddies East page. Child, are they all they all posting the same content? And this was the post I was telling y'all about with JT. Uh, what you mean? Um, child, JT posting about Tzatziki. Mm -mm, it wasn't here. Oh, and remember how I was talking about the rap earlier, the hood mentality, the ignorant shit? Shit like this is what I'm talking about. This has nothing to do with Tommy, and I'm, I mean, Tommy has nothing to do with this, this video, but this is the, the ratchet hood mentality shit I'm talking about. The lady that told me to shut up. Man, do you know the fuck I'm in? Tell me to. I, I don't even feel like getting into all of that, but I'm going to just say this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the ignorant hood mentality. And this is the type of baddies that they be looking for to cast. Because Tommy went off on two white ladies for telling her to be quiet on the phone because she was in an upscale five-star restaurant blasting her phone the same way that niggas be on the fucking public buses blasting their phone like everybody want to listen to their goddamn music. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. This that hood celebrity shit that E.T. was on. Or trying to be on, rather. But again, it's Zeus. So... I was going to go find, um, I was trying to find, you know, the page that I was telling y'all about. I don't remember where the receipts was. Honestly, at this point, it don't even matter. It could have got deleted somewhere because the boy did come out and like try to clear his name. But honestly, who cares at this point? Who cares? Who cares? I feel like the boy said it and did it. And I also feel like E.T. is a light. And I also feel like, you know, Roly is no better. They're all trash. They're trash. So I'm done speaking because between me doing the fucking baddies East review, which was like an hour and a half. And then this shit being two hours, child, I've been talking for the last four hours. I'm tapped out. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. Clearly y'all hoes need to go book a motherfucking read in. So go book a motherfucking read in. Okay. Um, I love each and every one of y'all in HD audio. Wait, are you telling me that my fucking banner was not on the whole time? That's crazy. Okay, if you, listen, if you got a tea time, send one in. Okay, send me in a juicy, long story time. Juicy, long story time. Okay. Um, yeah. And I got some TikTok commentary videos that's coming because I got some shit to say about Risa Tisa and then a girl that called herself exposing her and her abuse. Like, just stay tuned for my other videos. Don't just be subscribing just because of baddies content. I comment on everything, baby. I got a mouth, so I got an opinion. So I love each and every one of y'all and HD audio allegedly. Go book your reading on my website. It's in the description box below. And I'll catch y'all hoes in the next one.
Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language, everybody know she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Fuck it up, love it how they cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up, but wasn't when I'm coming up. Fuck it up, love it how they cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up.